Hey, everybody. How's it going? I've been getting quite a few questions on these Chinese diesel air heaters. And let me turn this one on. Let's see. So we just turn this on. So that's going to warm up. Um, a few questions are, there's, there's a few different type. There's a first type, there's, what is there, there's 2,000, 5,000, and 8,000, or 8 kilowatts, they call it. 8 kilowatts is right around, roughly, if you figure it out, 37,000 BTU. And that's what that one's supposed to be, an 8 kilowatt. And this one here is, I call that a vertical, and I would call this one a horizontal. Now this one here, so I'll turn on. So now this one's on. Now this one's running onto my test ports that I have running over to a battery there. So this is like my 12 volt testing center. And if the battery gets so low, um, it'll shut this thing off because they draw, I think right around 12 amps when you first kick them in. And people make the mistake of buying too big of one. And what happens is they end up with problems. Now, this one, for example, this has, I don't know if you can see it back here. The hotline is just, oh, you hear the pump clicking right now. So you hear the pump clicking. So this is where it's pulling the most of the amps because the glow plug is getting hot. And that's what's drawing most of the power right now. But once this thing gets up to full speed, um, the amperage drops down to about 4 amps, 3 amps, somewhere right around that area. Um, I've been running the hell out of these, but the problem is people will go and buy a big 8, eight kilowatt. And then, then after a while, they'll put it in, I don't know, like an RV or I thought it'd be really nice. You can put it in like, um, you know, um pull behind your car trailer, an enclosed trailer that you might use for camping or, you know, put your snowmobile in there and go snowmobile and then turn it into, you know, like a camper, camper trailer. But where people are having problems with these is them gumming up. And the reason why they're gumming up is because they went too big. These things should run not all the time, but most of the time, they should be running pretty much wide open because they're going to burn clean. If you run them low or turn them down low and just kind of like idling along, they start getting all plugged up inside with soot. And then they'll start plugging up the ports because it's not running hot enough to burn that crap out of them. So make sure you pay attention to that. So you can hear this thing speeding up now. You hear the fuel pumps clicking. Fan speed's kicking up. Yep. And they're Bluetooth remotes. What's this one doing? Uh, see, okay, here we go. See, error 01. That is what you're going to get when your battery is too low. So, I'm, I'm really glad that happened because... The error 01 is, I got a charger over here, but this battery charger, this battery is kind of weak. What, I don't know, this damn thing shut off or what? It's on 6 amp charge right now. Battery level 22%. But we'll come back to that one. So this is kicking out some nice warm air now. Once this gets up to the double red bars, she's running wide open. So these heat up places pretty quick. If you have like a well-insulated camper or whatever, um, then don't get a huge one because you're going to get a huge one and you're going to have problems. It's just going to be running at low speed all the time. And then uh, it's just going to start, you know, clogging up on you. There's a few videos online talking about that. And also, one of the negative ones for these is the damn power wire is too small. I've heard that issue also. 
So, this, this basically just shut off. So this one shut off because the power supply is too weak. So let me grab my battery charger. Oh no, I can't grab this one. I've already ran the wire around. Let me grab a battery charger and put it on that battery because the battery charger I have on here right now is just a maintainer. This isn't really like a real battery charger. It says battery charger, but it's just a maintainer. So it can't keep up with the demand of this. So that is the area, that's, that's the error code you're gonna get is E-01 or whatever the hell it was. And it'll just slow down, everything will cool back down. So let me get a charger on that battery and I'll show you what's gonna happen. All right, so I just hooked up my other charger onto this battery and I already seen the uh, voltage coming up. So let's try a round two on this one. So we'll turn around again. It shut off on safety. So right now these have a fresh air intake that should go outside, which is here. There's only two pipes. This goes on the end of it, like a filter to keep all the crap out of it. So you got the little filter that goes on the air intake, and then you have the exhaust. I'm on the garage, I really don't care if I get a little bit of smell in here or not, but... So let's see here. This was cranking, okay, she's wide open now, you see all the red bars. This heat is coming out here hot. I mean... Uh, it's about a foot. I don't think I can hold my hand there that much longer because it's hot. It's really hot. And there's my cold air intake. And then my exhaust, I just have it going through the garage. With just a, uh, going through a soda can. That's basically it. I just cobbled it in and it's sitting on a metal stand that I bent. So there's really all there is to these things. And that's what I found so amazing and is why I bought one. Uh, this is the first one I bought. And it was like 120. And I got the other one for $84, which was ridiculous. I'm like, why is it only $84? So I bought it. So basically, when you get these things, all you do is open up the top, put diesel fuel in it, hook it up to a battery, run your lines out the bottom of your, I don't know, camper, RV, whatever. You know, make sure you put a metal plate around so these pipes get hot. These pipes... The exhaust pipe gets extremely hot. And uh, when I get an arrow one again, see arrow one, it shows battery. See it? I don't have enough battery power right now. So we're just gonna, we'll just cancel it. Yeah, the battery over there is way too dead. I let it go down too far. So at least now you know if you get that error. Yeah, see, so it's reading 11.4 volts. Now, well, this stupid thing's supposed to be... This is on 6 amp charge. Okay, there, now it came on. Now it came on to charge. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, it's, it's just going to... Okay, the error went away. I think it's just gonna do a cool down and shut off. So this happened to me before, as I pretty much expected it. But I thought this was pretty cool. Cause I liked like the lower style of it. Yeah, the exhaust ain't even hot, so this never even fired. I should have checked that battery before. And it just shut off. It just shut off. Yeah. All right, let's turn around again. And I'm going to come over here and check these. See what's going on here. So that's charging at 6 amps. 
That's that's showing the battery's low. So both of these are going. That should be enough to fire this thing up, at least to get it through the uh, igniter cycle. But let's see. Yes, that's nice and toasty. And there. You want it off, you just turn it off. Just hold the button until it says off. And now it'll just cool down, so. Yeah, these are so easy to hook up, and I can't believe the amount of heat you get out of these. They're just phenomenal. So, the fuel tank on that one sits up on top. This one sits off to the side. And there's a few different kits you can buy of these. You can buy these all separate components where you have just you know just the main control and then you have your pump off to the side and this this comes off and they give you a, a tank you can mount anywhere and uh yeah, so far the battery yeah it's working now here's the pump well you can see the smoke coming out <laughs> yeah now nope, it's shut off yeah, she shut off. Damn battery. Well, yeah, it, it's pegging that way over. This just doesn't have the power right now. I've been neglecting this battery. I should have uh, should have charged it up sooner. Should have got a bigger charger on it, actually. So now you now you see one of the problems that you could possibly run into. It, as if the battery is not big enough to carry the load of this thing starting, you get that error 01 and battery flashing. It tells you right there, you know, your battery can't handle it. So if you're running it in your car or something like that, you start your car up or whatever and you'll be fine. But I'll just let this thing just idle down and shut off. So, yeah, you get the uh, you get the unit pipe and end. I didn't get an end with that one. I got just got a pipe and uh, the bunch of clamps and stuff. And there's this one. You can add a full slot here to get underneath to tighten up the clamps. That thing is just doing a fine final cool down. And this one here has the slot that's to get a screwdriver in there to tighten down. The clamps holds the pipes on. That'll just keep running and just like your house furnace. And this is like a thermometer too. So that's that's your thermometer. So you can set it at it's in Celsius too, which sucks. So that's in Celsius. And uh so you gotta figure that out. But yeah, I thought it was cool. I thought these things are cool as hell. I mean, how much easier can you get? I'm just going to let that battery charge overnight and we'll just kill the power on this because I want to turn around and show you something on this. So this is cool. On this one, you've got your own terminals, which I would run, you know, I'd run a fuse back here. And then uh, the bigger cables, then you, then, you know, you just don't use speaker wire. I mean, I use something decent size, 12 gauge or bigger. And then underneath... Underneath you just have your your exhaust port and your cold air in. And that's all there is to it. Very simple. Depends on how much room you have. Or you can buy, um, if you look on eBay for diesel air heaters, you can see where you can just buy this big square tube. That's all it is, really. And uh, it comes with a separate tank and everything. It comes all apart in pieces. And I'm like, I'm not dealing with that. But I hope this answered a few of the questions with me running back and forth, goofing around with this stupid battery over here. But, uh, yeah, this one, this one's fine. No battery issues whatsoever with that one because I think some of you guys know why. This tied into this battery bank. That's why. So, 
I've got all these batteries to power that. And this is powering my, uh, about a third of my house right now. That is. But batteries are getting weak. I gotta get new batteries. A friend of mine started a, a Kickstarter fund to help me get new batteries for my solar system. You know, they're like, God, they're anywhere between $140 a piece up to a few hundred hours a piece. And, you know, these, these are old. These are old batteries, and uh, I can't believe they're still working, but they got to go. There's 12 of them there. So, yep. Oh, well, I thought that would help you out a little bit, but if depending on the size of what you're going to use this in, do your research. Don't get a big 8,000 8, watt, which people say the 5 and 8s are the same because you can turn them up and uh, uh, you can do all kinds of programming with these. I don't mess with it. I just get it, put it together, put fuel in it, turn it on, and have heat. Because I figured the factory setting is where it should be and I'm not messing with it. But you can mess with them. You can crank them up. You can make them do all kinds of stuff. And there's videos out there of people doing that. And then, uh, but I'm not doing that because I'm keeping a stock because I know it works. So why mess with something when it works? What are we drinking today? C4 Peach Mango Nectar is my drink of the day. It's not too bad. Super brain. Yeah. Ain't working in my case. So that's about it. I hope some of this video helped you guys. Uh, I know I've had some questions about these. And, uh, I mean, if you can get an 8K for something big, I would say something like if you're pulling a enclosed trailer, like a 12 by 20, something like that, i get one of these big ones. I mean, because now a lot of the trailers come insulated, but... I mean, it depends. I mean, if you got just like a little pop-up type thing, I get a small one. Don't get the 8K because what's going to happen over time is it's just going to start smoking and it's not going to, it won't light. They just plug up. They're all sooted and plugged up and you got to get in there with all this, dig out all this black crap. I, I've seen videos on uh, YouTube and look around. You'll see, you'll see them too. But one, the exhaust port for the exhaust on one video with this guy in England, he always goes, hello, when he starts the videos, he's hilarious. Um, it was just plugged solid. Somebody sent it to him, said, can you figure out why this thing, you know, stopped working? Because you bought too big of a unit, and it's just idling along. It's just chugging along, and it's just getting all sooted up inside. It plugs itself out. All righty. That's enough of me babbling. I'll catch you later. Have a good day. Bye.